free shipping free shipping but then let me tell you shipping fee is my deal breaker like i'm not buying it i'm not mm, 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 mm. include your shipping fee in my order you know don't hey you're charging me shipping fee because i feel like i cannot buy something for 400 and pay shipping fee at 600 it's like the manuki to tao i wezi i wezi hey guys so i just finished filming this video and i realized i wanted to put this information just um before the video started rather than putting it at the end the video the the information is already at the end of the video but i figured out maybe i should put this at the start of this video just so that just in case something my leads that you will still get the information so please use my invitation code to aliexpress which i will put it just just somewhere here everywhere maybe throughout the video i don't know i'll put the aliexpress code there so that i can invite you to aliexpress which will get 2712 worth of orders and on completion of your first order i can just get a mere 565 it's sad but yeah so please use my code as your invitation code to complete your first order and yeah. hey guys welcome back to my channel it's when you're here thank you for stopping by please hit the subscribe button turn on the post notification and if you're already a member Hey fam, what's up? <laughs> I'm back with another video. So I feel like this video is really, really, really highly requested. And uh, that's why I'm doing it while standing. Really, no. Today I didn't feel like dressing up or having any makeup or just doing any type of good stuff. So I figured out maybe I'll just wear my robe, wear my tiny uh, hairband because my wig won't leave flat because my hair is undone from inside. Is this TMI? Is this too much information? Should I just get straight to the video? <laughs> well, I don't know. So anyway, I'm here with an um, how to ship to Kenya uh, from AliExpress kind of video or um, everything you need to know as an AliExpress, as a Kenyan shopper shopping with aliexpress am i making sense i hope i am so that is it so i'll i'll try and manipulate the title to fit exactly what i have in this video because i want to to like tell you all the tips and tricks on how to ship to kenya what to ship to kenya what not to ship in, it's not like what not to ship to kenya but what what type of orders that if you do just know you're going to uh pay extra charges for them and um yeah i will also have a two part not like a part one part two because i can't promise uh the video will come like right after this one but i will also do a video on some of the things that i've already purchased from aliexpress and um i think even you guys should purchase so i've kind of like written everything down that i'm going to say so that's why i'm doing this video while standing i'm sorry if the light is shifting i'm using a ring light and natural lighting so there's war in here war of the lights I wish I had a lighter. <laughs> so anyway, let's get to the video. So the first thing, let me just open that page real quick. Where did I write it? By the way, let me tell you, I have a, ooh, this is the cutest notebook ever. And I kid you not, I bought it for 352. I kid you not. I'm a nyingi. I mean, I broke my bag and saw my pocket. The first thing you need to know as an AliExpress shopper, you need a postal account, a working postal office box. Am I making sense? Like a PO box that is really, really working, where your orders will be um brought in. They usually use our postal addresses. The thing is, um, in other countries, it is like every house. I think, correct me if I'm wrong. I think every house actually has a postal address, so they just bring uh your order in your house. But here in Kenya, we we don't have that uh system. So so what happens is if, if you have a postal uh postal box a working postal box they um they ship your order to your postal box so you're able to just go at your postal office and pick the item okay i'm gonna address the extra charges just right now so um normally i remember last year just before 2020 happened there were no extra charges at the postal office by the way it was just go pick your item go home go pick your item go home but this year they revised the rules and um now when you're going to pick an item you pay a hundred bob for each item regardless of the size blah 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 so yeah another thing if you order something so heavy like heavy like in a box or heavy in a whole package um 
just some sort of heavy and maybe a uh, goods value of uh, 3000 i feel if you, if you buy goods over 3000 both times that i've bought goods over 3000 have been charged for like um Almost the same amount. It's really, really expensive. I can't remember exactly, but I we really paid. I would remember we were doing business with my sister. She paid a lot. I didn't even pay. She paid a lot. So anyway, yeah. So when you're buying something, be 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 careful when you're buying uh stuff that is heavy or when you're buying things all together from one seller because the seller will just put everything together and ship them to you. And now you'll have to pay a lot of extra charges. So that is how it happens. Normally, again, I remember when I was buying my ring light, I had to pay 200 um, extra charge because um, it de I think it kind of depends on what's inside, how it's packaged, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but when I bought my stand, which was also in a box, by the way, let me just show you. So yeah, this is the box that came in with my stand. This is how it looks. This is one of the things I'm going to show you um, in my best uh, AliExpress purchases. So this one came, I only paid 100 to get it at the postal office. So it's not really that expensive at the same time because it's kind of light. It's very flimsy and light, but it gets the job done. Also, my ring lights, this is the box it came with. They still have how it was packaged. Actually, it was just in here. Cause I usually keep the ring light here just to keep it safe okay because anyway yeah so for the ring light i had to pay 200 uh to, to 175 or 200 175 or 275 i can't remember really well i don't know how but it was really really not it was really inexpensive so yeah so it's not really expensive to like purchase things i've heard of people who, who tell you oh you'll be charged extra fees i don't know the thing is if you have a working postal or a uh, postal box the um how do i put it the order will come straight to your postal box and when you go to your regular like local post office they will not charge you extra fees just this charges that i'm telling you about and i'm very very sure all the uh postal po post offices who post offices charge this amount because i've had people asking me oh are you being charged uh the 100 i'm like yeah 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 so it's really really standard so yeah so that that is all you need uh to like ship anything to kenya okay i remember before before 20 i don't know when this was implemented but i remember 20 2017 2018 you are not actually able to pay via mpesa through uh on aliexpress it was only through mastercard so you had to have a bank account with money blah 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 but now everything is just different you can just order from the comfort of your home anytime anywhere just have we got a 200 go mpesa rush up on the express just order whatever you're ordering and your order will come so I think another thing that I should address right about now is how long does this thing take to come to Kenya? <laughs> I don't want to rant right now because I feel like, first of all, during this time, it's very, very tricky to order. Because I feel like, it, I can't say it's really tricky to order. Because I remember this particular time I, I went to the post office to pick uh, some of my stuff that I had ordered on February and March. It was around April. This is May, April last month. So I went there and I, I got nothing. It was early April. And I just, I remember going back to the matacha and be like, what the fuck? Because this money I wanted, did I say what the, okay. This money, I wanted to use it to like, uh, take to, to pay the 100 bob to get my orders. But so I just got into the car and decided, ah, now because I still have this money, let me just order something else. Can you imagine I ordered that something else and I went to the postal office last week and it was there. Like I ordered it on April. It was here. It literally took, uh, not that one. I, I ordered two, two things and they came last week. And I'm like, it took like almost three weeks, just three weeks to arrive when I'm waiting for my orders from February. So I actually have one order from January. So I have orders pending from February and March. But my April orders came. I'm confused. What even? <laughs> anyway, let me just get straight to the information. So, um, first of all, how to find stuff on AliExpress. I feel like this kind of looks easy. Like I see, I'll just go and search. But I've seen people purchasing certain things on AliExpress. And I'm like, I'm going to keep your prize. No, I'm going to 
<laughs> no shade to anybody but there is this tactic i'll try and put a video somewhere unfortunately if you're not if you're not new to my channel you know that i'm working without a laptop my laptop broke down a couple of like i don't know last year last year that's the <laughs> closest i can last year early mid last year i think mid last year yeah it broke down and I've been working like that ever since so it's really re i actually started youtube without a laptop okay t too much information so as i was saying i would like to like oh do i shrink myself down then just give you a whole view of how to shop on a let's but i can't do that but i will be sure to attach like videos after every thing i say so now how to find the cheapest product on aliexpress so when you go to the aliexpress as such uh search bar the page that we after you search whatever you were searching first if you're searching something use keywords like if you don't know what that is called for example let's say i want to search um um a uh, flat iron for example <laughs> flat iron is very easy i feel like oh, phone case cover yeah phone case cover so i just try right there phone case cover or iphone 11 cover or um let's say it's a camera you just scan the keywords after you got you you've gotten whatever you are trying you'll get um a bunch of sellers offering almost the same products at different prices some offer free shipping others uh uh charge fee, shipping fee and all that stuff so on the right hand corner you will see a filter a filter a filter button or whatever click that filter button it will bring everything that is trying to narrow down all your results to give you everything that you want so for me when i click the filter button the first thing i'm clicking is free shipping <laughs> free shipping free shipping but then let me tell you shipping fee is my deal breaker like i'm not buying it i'm not mm -mm 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 -mm. include your shipping fee in my order you know don't hey you're charging me shipping fee because i feel like i cannot buy something for 400 and pay shipping fee at 600 it's like the menu i wazi i wazi keleweke hi wazi so that is what i usually do i just click on them a filter and i feel like this is one of the biggest uh questions the frequently asked question you know etina the shipping fee now the shipping fee free shipping free shipping though i feel like this this period of coronavirus the free shipping is kind of just kind of you know like sellers are offering a uh, charging shipping fee right now i think yeah so anyway so that is how you narrow down you'll see other options that you might click that that is definitely a good button to click when you're shopping okay okay to this left side uh hand side corner there is a button uh uh it's called best match yeah best match and when you click the best match it will bring you um cheapest to most expensive uh, it will bring you high uh, like high to low like the prices the highest to the lowest price the lowest to the highest price it will give you um what else the the a five star i think a five star rating best rating something like that so you manipulate all of that to bring you the the best like like the results <laughs> So the results will be narrowed down a bit so that you can get what you want. Normally, sometimes with the free shipping, they lie a lot. Sometimes the two free shipping when you click, shipping fee just pops up. I don't know how they get to manipulate that, but yeah. So you can really actually get things by free shipping. All you need to do is search that up. I'm a cheap person. I don't like wasting my money. We are not living above our means. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm a very, very cheap person. Like, I'm a very cheap person person i'm not even kidding you guys by the way uh uh no me i'm not wasting my money on anything so i literally search that up until i get my best match okay so that is how you get the cheapest products on aliexpress so yeah how to find the best product the best product you know sometimes cheap is expensive obviously sometimes cheap is expensive so what i like to do as much as i'm looking for the cheapest product i also check the reviews some things are sold different prices by different sellers but they do the same result they're the same quality it's just basically the same thing so what i do normally is i check the reviews and feedback i've heard of some some reviews are fake and what's not but i try to look at all the reviews from what people are saying from the pictures they've uploaded from basically just everything just every review and feedback every review and feedback i just want to see the packaging i want to see the order i want to see especially when you 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 look at an 
an item and you find it has so many reviews check by that just check the, i take time to read reviews don't even i kid you not i kid you i read everything i check mostly even i'm not reading uh the comments i like checking the pictures i swipe i swipe just go and read the feedbacks usually the feedbacks are just right uh below the um item that you're buying so when you click the item i think everything is just everything is just there i promise you everything is just there like just check that up pendusha pendua till you find your best product okay so next one i've already addressed how to ship to kenya and how long it should take because you just just bite if you have a working person office just bite oh by the way let me just address this issue of um postal address blah 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 how the postal box works so this is how it works when you have a working postal box it's usually two thousand per year that's all you have to pay for like renting the box 2000 a year and if you don't want to if you think that's expensive and you don't ship that often you might as well have um an m post it's called an m post i'm an m poster i don't know m poster it's a safaricom uh brought up initiative for people who don't have postal boxes but are trying to like function like a person having a postal box so you pay 300 a year and your phone number is your actual postal box so they deliver they deliver to you i've never used it myself so i don't know how it works with aliexpress because i can imagine you giving your number at the postal address that's weird that's weird though that's weird but I think it works. It works. M post. I've heard of so many people talk about it. When I go to the post, there's just a big poster there. Oh, M post. Use your number. Oh, 300 a year. So I usually, I, I know of the program, but I've never used it. I don't know how it works, but it should be working the same. So if you think um 2000 is a year is a lot, or you don't ship that much, blah, 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 you can just get M post. Also, if you don't want to get M post, you don't want to get uh, the postal box i'm coming with a program which is sort of like a drop shipping service where if you want to order something and you don't have a postal box you don't have an m post you don't want to go through all the trouble of the shopping bring to kenya having to wait blah. of course you'll wait even if i'm ordering it for you guys but i've decided to come up with um drop shipping service where i can be there's a plane passing okay there's a plane passing <laughs> So yeah, so I've come up with this service where in the game. So for the drop shipping services I'll be doing for orders above five hundred. So if you've decided to buy something that is uh at least at least five hundred, I will drop ship it for you through my postal address and i'll bring it to you so you'll still pay the 100 for the postal office as as soon as you receive your product but as i go get it i'll just pay the fee blah 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 but when you're coming to uh pick the um the item from me you'll pay another you'll pay a hundred bob but when you're ordering with me you'll pay the actual uh fee of the item and 30 percent of the total order yeah that is what i've come up with so to just curb uh, the questions, to curb, oh, I don't have, oh, say, send you money, you order for me, blah, blah, blah. I feel like many random people ask me to ask to send me money. I order for them from the internet. They don't even know me. I don't even know you. So I kind of figured maybe I'll just make it a business instead. So order with me. Order with me, guys. Let's make this money like your idea it's not free because i'm also helping you guys order what you want and i can have it deliver it on time i will also be sure to give you a tracking number and uh every time you inquire with me i will give you enough information about uh the status of your order always and because uh we can just connect on instagram all the time you can feel free to dm my business page i will i will link my business page by the way my instagram uh, business page and my personal business page because a lot is going to launch on my business page very 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 soon okay is this too much information i'm just shamelessly plugging myself but anyway moving to the next question disputes and refunds okay this light is just playing with my head i don't even want to get that close because it's really taking at all when i get the clothes the ring light just <laughs> so anyway going straight to disputes and refunds so when it comes to disputes and refunds the time okay 
like for example me i have two disputes running right now because uh one of the let me just open my window okay 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 so i thought it was bang jeez so like me right now i have two disputes that are running right now one of the disputes because i've not received the order since january i feel like that is so fishy that is so fishy like what just give me my money back like i'm so over that glue gun already okay so um the other one is i've opened a dispute because the seller has finished the order when i have not gotten the order how i remember i reached out to this seller and asked asked the seller like extend my purchase protection but he didn't he didn't imagine he didn't he has never even responded to me if anything so just opened a dispute i opened a dispute and they'll refund me back my money i've been refunded thrice so i know that that is very real in fact my latest refund okay this one in a new masana i'm not proud in a new masana like i don't know if i should show you guys the flat iron or you just see it in another video i'll just you'll see it in another video so i had ordered this flat iron and it was taking too long to arrive i remember the seller also i i asked him to extend the purchase protection but he didn't so he ended up finishing the order i did not get the order so i opened a dispute because you know after some time if you don't talk if you add in if these things are not done like you know as kifuatana you might lose your money because why did you take it that long for you to open a dispute so me i opened a dispute and then ah fast forward to like two weeks later my flat iron is here I really feel bad but there's nothing I can do. My money was refunded. I got the flat iron. <sighs> Such a win loss situation and I'm not happy about it by the way. So sometimes just when you open a dispute and uh, you you you've gotten so okay, first of all, I think the big thing is this seller should be kind of <sighs> Anyway, let me just let me just do what the video brought me here to do. Anyway, so I I, I wanted to mention something about the dispute. What was that? What was that oh also you can also even if you received your order and you are dissatisfied with the order you can also um open a dispute and even if you're going to be refund half of the money you can refund up the half of the money you also have an option of shipping the item back to the seller i find that very expensive because you'll actually pay the shipping ship ship what wow shipping fee so i find that very expensive just refund me half of my money like i mean so that is what happens also when you when you've received an order you've confirmed that you've received the order you're supposed to get back to them with a dispute if you're dissatisfied with the order within 15 hours window period after that why did it take you so long to realize you didn't get your stuff also when purchase protection is running out that is what i wanted to say when purchase protection is running out you can just um contact the seller and ask the seller to extend your purchase protection so that you can also keep waiting for the product you understand rather than um a, the the seller has finished your product you haven't gotten your product and you're there that's how you lose your money and you don't get your order i mean so um to the ooh, 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 ooh. I am. Uh, I feel like I've actually said everything that I wanted to say in this video. And the last video that I'm the last video. What is it? A bag. Hey. So the last thing that I wanted to say about um AliExpress, uh everything you need to know as an AliExpress shopper from Kenya is that um not from Kenya, from everywhere at this point. So there's membership. I'm a gold member. Of a gold member, and I'm really, really, really happy about it because I'm not at this age saying that we call gold member. I've been a gold member for the longest time, like for the longest time, really. I don't want to like I want to after okay, there's silver, silver member, gold member, platinum member, and diamond member. So I want to go platinum literally. So I want to purchase as much as possible, give feedbacks. That is how your membership just grows on AliExpress, you know. Uh, giving feedback uh just shopping more often uh shopping orders uh, above a certain price not just shopping just shopping orders above a certain price so like it's not even really high. i think orders above if you give uh feedback for orders above 200 you get one point really hard 
So I think there are orders that you can make above a certain amount of money, you get more than one point. So I know you're wondering what is the importance of this membership. As in, who cares if you're a gold member or a silver member? Let me tell you now where the difference comes in. When you're a silver member, everything you buy everything discount from the seller or not everything you buy you get a five percent discount as a silver member i'm a gold member i get eight percent off everything every single thing so if you're if probably if i tell you the price that i've bought most of my things and then you you go you have um you have your app you want to order what i ordered at this and this price you'll definitely not get it at that price and I'm really sorry. That is why I've started being skeptical about telling you uh, the prices that I've bought these things for. Because you will not even find them at this price. So it's really, it's really, it's really annoying. Okay, it's really annoying. But it is what it is. Another thing, my phone cracked screen like two days ago. Two nights ago. A night ago. I don't know. And right now I'm looking at myself and I'm like, I need me. How many crack? So anyway... I think that is what okay another thing if you want to get uh some cheap stuff on aliexpress that i've forgotten to say from earlier of the video is that you can use coins and coupons coins and coupons just try to collect them it really works for you okay i think that is all i wanted to say also in completion i want to invite all of you to aliexpress you can use my code i will put it uh down there uh use my code to get um two thousand 712 and uh on completion of your first order or every, everybody who's gonna use my code i will get 565 i know right like mob anyway life is just that unfair we can't always get what we want but that is life so um happy shopping with aliexpress i had fun filming this video even if i was standing the whole time i really had fun filming the video i feel like this is kind of like um you know a change in my videos just to film at a different place although you guys can see my my spray bottle and my other things from up there but nothing serious so yeah guys thank you for watching up to this end of this video i'm really really appreciative to everybody who stopped by um i'm also working on a filming schedule i think i'll be posting on mondays and thursdays so this video when you're watching this video will be thursday i hope you'll be watching this video on thursday or whatever day you're watching i think my 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 posting days will be a monday and thursday so i'm working on this video right now i'm working on a fashion related video for my next video so please do stay tuned for that also like share subscribe what is a video without those three words Mm? Oh, and turn on post notification. What is that video without those four words? <laughs> so anyway, bye.